I suppose my my coaching ethos is and I'm nearly kind of half in management mode now at the moment, so I'm nearly having to think about this. But I suppose the challenge I've faced to my coaches this year um, is to and every year is to to provide an environment that that hits three pillars, and that's growth, learning, and enjoyment. Okay, so um, look, everything we do, we want to we want to challenge the players to grow as people on and off the field, provide them with leadership opportunities, provide them with with opportunities to be better people. Okay, I know that sounds cheesy and that, but Look, it is. It's a holistic approach. When you think you have a group of 30, 35 players that are giving you their time four nights a week, like whether you like it or not, you have a massive influence on, on their life in general because they're giving so much of their time to it. So I think to provide opportunities that benefit them outside of the sporting arena are very, very important. Look, learning is an obvious one. I think it's a, it's a constant learning environment. Um, and I suppose self-directed learning. We try and provide them with, with an environment whereby they're provided with opportunities to learn, but they have to provide the solutions themselves. We try not to overcoach it, mm-hmm. and, and that can be a fine balance as well. And look, enjoyment is absolutely key. Again, if I'm asking a player to come in and, and spend four nights a week with us in an environment, look, if it's not enjoyable, they're not going to come anyway. But yeah. I think for everybody's, everybody's uh, benefit and for everybody's long, longevity in, in the setup, it, you have to make it as enjoyable as you possibly can. And that's not forced enjoyment. It's just... You know, I suppose it's nearly a mindset more than anything. It's like, look, we're not going to take ourselves too seriously here. We're going to absolutely give every ounce of what we have to try and maximize our potential. But at the end of the day, we know it's only sport. There's more important things in life than sport. And the first time someone said that to me, I probably didn't believe them. But you know, the older you get, there is like, you know, so it has to be enjoyable. So that's it. It's like it's growth, learning, enjoyment. Do, do I have a coaching style? Um, if you asked me this five or six years ago, I had probably gone very much down the games-based approach. If it's not game, I don't want to know about it. I very much embrace that. Probably rein that in a little bit now, and it's, it's more of a mixture of um, of technical drills, skill-based drills, and games, um, games-based scenarios. So it's, that, that's the mix I've gone for. I think if you're, if you're well, it all depends on the development, the stage of development of your squad. Yeah. If you have a finely tuned panel like the Limerick Hurlers, um, maybe you're doing a little bit more of the games based stuff but i think it, there's there's always 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 a place for doing just isolated skill work just working on the basics of the game okay so yeah so it's a combination of kind of of of, of skill skills drills and game based game based stuff that challenges the players to, to find solutions 